Dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's read from the timeless collection of Malti Joshi. Let's read a, another wonderful story named Man Dua Dua. Let's begin with the story. My inner soul was not feeling very nice, but when there was no one on the railway station to receive me, my fear turned into nervousness. Don't know what exactly is the reason. Is someone ill? Or something must have happened. That's why Bade Bhaiya had called me by sending an emergency telegram. Otherwise, for the last 12 years, nothing like this has ever happened. Honestly, after the demise of Babuji, no one ever bothered to call me through proper invitation. When Babuji was alive, he used to call us off and on at the time of festival. Now it's like, with a slight indication from Bade Bhaiya, I immediately go to meet everyone so that my pride and honor in my in-laws house remains intact. The house was still far away when I saw Deepa going to school on a cycle. I immediately stopped the taxi and stepped down. On seeing me suddenly in front of her, Deepa was surprised. But the other moment she stepped down from her cycle and hugged me. Are bua, how come you are here? Are it has been so many days since I have met you. That's why I am here, I said lovingly. This lovely meeting could have continued on for hours, but I saw the girls with Deepa were becoming restless and I said, Okay, fine, you go to school now. We will meet in the evening. Okay, Bua, see you. She said by waving her hand in the air and the other minute she was flying with her cycle. Hadn't the driver given me a call, I don't know for how long I would have kept staring her. She was looking totally different from others even in the school uniform. She had inherited her mother's looks and features. And the best part was that God had given her the body type and features of her mother, not the heart like her mother. Otherwise, she would not have welcomed me with so much warmth. Her innocent smile melted my heart and I understood that everything was fine at home. Otherwise, the girl would not have been so cheerful. Then I think, what my husband was saying was right. There must be some property issue. Again and again he was saying that nowadays girls also have equal share in their parental property. While making me board the train, he was continuously saying, do not sign any paper without reading it carefully. I don't know what dreams are these people knitting. They have got plenty of dowry from my father and are still hoping for some money. He wanted to accompany me, but I only stopped him. There is one ancestral home in our village and some 8 to 10 bigha of property. Rest, the house which is there in the city has been made by Bade Bhaiya. He had received that land as a gift from his father-in-law in his wedding. Anyways, Bhabi might have just closed the door after sending Deepa when the doorbell rang again. She opened the door and said, What have you left now? But on seeing me, she suddenly stopped. Oh, Sumitra, you? She could only say this much and she left the passage as if she wanted to say, The door is open. If you wish, you can come inside. This is nothing new. Ideally, I should have been habitual of this, but my conscience doesn't allow me to do so. I always feel hurt, but what to do? I cannot go back as the motherly image I had created of Bhabi was mocking at me now. Pandit Kaka, please bring a cup of tea and also cook some gobi alu. I can hear Bhabi giving instructions to Pandit Kaka. Is there a guest, Bahuji? Yes, Sumi Didi is here. Are Sumi Beta, when did you came? Pandit Kaka ran from kitchen. Happiness was dripping from his wrinkled face and white moustaches. And I was thinking, when Pandit Kaka will be no more, who will give me such a warm welcome? I am not complaining about Bhabi. It is true, if me and Suchitra both stay for three months, then even a wrinkle will not come on her face. There will not be any flaw in our welcome. But then this is also true, if on the third day we pack our bags to go, she will not insist any of us to stay for some more days. So me, Come and have some tea. While putting tea and snacks on the table, Bhabi asked, You will take a bath before having lunch. 
So should I ask Gobindi to turn on the geyser or haven't you started the warm water? I was so furious from inside. She will talk about everything but she will not ask how come you are visiting us suddenly or is she aware about my arrival? And if she is aware then why isn't she telling me what's the reason of calling me? At last I only asked her how is Bade Bhaiya? He is fine. Is his health good? Yes, but why? Actually, I received an urgent telegram asking me to come and visit you all. That's why I was scared as to what could be the matter. She didn't answer, but from her facial expression, it was clear that she was not aware about any such thing. Did she felt bad, or maybe she didn't feel bad at all? She could never connect with the ongoing problems of the house. It was operation day for Bade Bhaiya. He came back around at 4 p.m. in the evening. On seeing me, his face was glowing with happiness. I felt so good. He made me sit with him for hours. He was asking about the well-being of my husband, my children and everyone back at home. He was simply looking like Babuji. Whenever I see him, I feel like I am sitting with my father and talking about all those unsaid things. When Bhabi called us for lunch, then we had to get up. On seeing the table laid for three people, Bhaiya lovingly scolded. Are, you haven't had your food? There's no time for me, beta. I was not hungry, Bade Bhaiya. Bhabi made me such wonderful snacks with tea. Bade Bhaiya looked up at Bhabi with much anticipation, but she was busy in serving food. I further asked, where is Sunil? When does he come back? Bhai, he does not have any timetable these days. He leaves in the morning and come back late in the evening. Why so? I have called you to discuss about this with you. I was looking at him with astonished face. Bade Bhaiya further continued. First have your lunch and then we will talk. But was it really easy to gulp the food now? I was simply sitting to accompany him. After lunch, I was sitting in the lawn waiting for Bade Bhaiya to call me. But he didn't call me. Instead, he himself came out to sit in the lawn with his favorite cigar. He started saying without making any fuss. To me, I have called you so that you can make Sunil understand. You are the only person who can do this. But Bade Bhaiya, what has he done? He has not done anything. He is about to do. What? Marriage. Marriage? With whom? This is the point of conflict to me. He wants to marry Dr. Kumar's daughter. Dr. Kumar's daughter. Shamli? Yes. She is the only daughter of Dr. Kumar. And you are also aware about the incident that happened with her. The incident was known to everyone. Shamli was the outcome of Dr. Kumar's love affair in his college life. His sympathy for his warden's widowed daughter-in-law turned into love he didn't knew. And when he could realize, it was too late. Shamli's mother had to face the same consequences that such unfaithful ladies have to face in the Indian society. But before scumbing, she had given the address of her daughter to Dr. Kumar. She was in an orphanage and Dr. Kumar was constantly in touch with the orphanage authorities. Coincidentally, Dr. Kumar was not blessed with any child even after 10 years of marriage. Years of treatment couldn't give them this happiness. During those days of desperation, he accepted his mistake and told his wife about his past affair. The girl who was living in the orphanage. After the consent of that generous lady, Dr. Kumar brought his daughter home. Dusky complexioned girl filled the house with her love and laughter. From the first year, Sunil was Dr. Kumar's favorite student. He had written his thesis under Dr. Kumar's supervision only and now he was working in his department. He used to visit Dr. Kumar's home occasionally. Sumi, what are you thinking? Bhaiya, why didn't this possibility came into our mind? Because there was never any such kind of possibility. Dr. Kumar had knowingly given freedom to both of them so that he can ease off his burden very easily. Bhaiya's words were not very soothing, but they were also not far away from reality. 
इंटायर इवनिंग बड़े भैयाज वर्ड्स वर रिंगिंग इन माई ईयर्स इन द इवनिंग दीपा हैड ब्रॉड लूडो गे पुअर चाइल्ड हैज़ बिकम ऑल अलोन एवर सेंस हर ब्रदर मुकेश लेफ्ट फॉर हिज बोर्डिंग स्कूल दैट्स वाई वेन एवर एनी गेस्ट वुड कम शी वुड ट्राई टू एंटरटेन हर सेल्फ एंड द गेस्ट ऑल्सो बट टूडे आई वॉज नॉट एट ऑल इन द मूड ऑफ प्लेइंग आफ्टर थ्री फोर राउंड शी रेड माई माइंड एंड लेफ्ट आफ्टर मेकिंग एन एक्सक्यूज टू कम्प्लीट हर होमवर्क आई टोक अ साई ऑफ रिलीफ आफ्टर शी लेफ्ट आई एंटर माई रूम एंड आई वॉज लाइंग ऑन द बेड आई एम थैंकफुल टू भाभी दैट शी हेज नॉट चेंज अर रूम इवन अ बेड इफ आई डोंट गेट दिस रूम देन द जॉय ऑफ कमिंग टू पी हर विल बी रिड्यूस्ड इट सीम्स एज इफ दिस इज माई ओन वर्ल्ड एंड नो वन कैन इंटरफेयर हियर आई डोंट नो वेन सुनील केम बैक होम I was exhausted from the travelling and didn't know when I went into deep sleep. Sunil only woke me up from the sleep. He touched my feet and then simply lay down in my lap. He was grown up so much, but he still needs to be pampered. When her mother expired, Sunil was only 4 or 5 years old. Only we sisters compensated mother's love. Beta, where were you for the entire day? I have spent the entire day waiting for you. I got stuck with some work. I have just came back and was having my dinner when Pandit Kaka told me that Sumi Didi is here. I left my food and simply ran for you. Well, I am obliged. Now you tell me, how come you are so generous on us? How's Jija ji? And how come he is so generous that he has sent you here? Because of you. Really? Am I the reason? Yes. I have been called here to make you understand few things. Acha bhai. Okay. Then you start. I am still thinking on where to start. He immediately got up and sat on a rest chair kept in the front portion of the room. He became very serious and then he asked me, "Didi, you also think I am doing something wrong?" I will not say that you are doing it wrong, but my heart is still not ready to accept it. But why are you not able to understand it? After all, what is wrong with that girl? You know about the story of her birth. But Didi, no one is responsible for the birth, and is this the only parameter to judge her? Our society is still not ready for this, Sunil. I don't care about the society," he said in a stern voice. "Bade bhaiya is also not in the favor of this relationship. Didi, please." Bade bhaiya is getting transformed into babu ji. No one becomes modern simply by visiting foreign country. To become modern you need to brush off the dust of orthodox tradition. Sunil, by saying this you are doing injustice to bade bhaiya. Injustice? Am I doing it? No. He is doing injustice or rather I should say the injustice which was done with him years back. He is taking its revenge with me now. but i will not surrender i will fight for it sunil left the room in a fit of rage and fury but his talks made some decayed old memories fresh again cynthia's innocent face came up in front of my eyes on seeing sunil's furious face i can recall bade bhaiya's rebellious face oh god for those two months the house was filled with so much tension bade bhaiya was ready to bite anyone and everyone even on the tiniest thing all of us used to stay in the house with a fear of any kind of explosion our eldest sister had just got engaged after a lot of effort babu ji was able to find a suitable groom for her we all were engrossed with the wedding preparations when cynthia came in our lives like any bad dream had there been a person with weak heart he could not have been able to bear this shock but it was babu ji who could bear this shock he didn't wasted even a moment in taking the decision he resigned from his 28 year old job and moved to the city with all of us he simply kept bhaiya grounded from everyone at that time things were not this much expensive but then city life was like city but babu ji made his heart strong and he sold two mango orchards and a farm with well due to this Babu ji was not able to spend desired amount of money on Gigi's wedding and still she taunts us for this Babu ji's sacrifice didn't go wasted 
the storm which was going on in the house came to a halt one day within a year wedding bells started to ring again for our doctor brother rai prasad hari prasad's daughter a bungalow in the middle of the city and the expenditure to travel abroad all our poverty was washed in one stroke due to that luxurious wedding me and suchitra were able to get such a good groom for wedding anil and sunil can study without any tension i only feel bad for gigi as she got married before this golden era after the death of our mother we all have taken good care of babu ji we never made him feel inconvenient for anything he only had one dream to give best education to his boys and find best suitable groom for his daughters and when he saw that his dreams were about to shatter he turned the tables with all his might and wits and won the battle till the time babu ji was alive my heart was filled with resentment for him bade bhaiya was admitting this in front of his sisters he had also called suchitra to indore because of me and now all three of us were busy in discussing the most feasible solution for this problem till the time babu ji was alive i could never forgive him but today when i'm standing at his place then only i can understand that his fears and worries were so true and pure it is really difficult to be father of a girl and especially when there is any explicit incident taking place in the family girl's father who why am i not a girl's father honestly suchi you will not believe since the time sunil has blasted this bomb i am constantly thinking about deepa from today after 4 5 years when i will go to find a suitable groom for her will not this wedding become a thorn in my way but bhaiya till then people will forget about this this topic will become old then no sumi no one forgets anything and either they become old every time they come in front of everyone as fresh as a daisy you can take the example of shamli this incident is some 20 22 years old but we are still troubled about it but i am not able to understand why are we in trouble she is daughter of dr kumar and he is a renowned person in the field of science but we cannot ignore her mother the circumstances in which she was born cannot be neglected also she spent her initial years in the orphanage how many things will you avoid you leave apart deepa's wedding there is time in her marriage but you all will you both be able to confront your in-laws after this marriage now bade bhaiya was on point he hit the hammer at the right place both of us have set up a standard in our extended family and on whose basis babu ji was mere a headmaster it was all due to bade bhaiya's status his position his extended family his kids etc anil went to canada after his studies and he was lost there he never even replied to anyone's letters but in our books of valor and pride his name is also there ha sometimes due to gigi and her poor status we need to face embarrassment if sunil gets married to shamli then again we have to face such mockery and embarrassment after making us shock in this manner bade bhaiya said whatever i have done for this family i am not making you count but both my brothers have given me disappointment i thought both of them will become a doctor and will help me but anil was adamant and he became an engineer i was happy with that also in both of you's marriage i had spent 1 1 lakh rupees but when anil gave a shout of his morals and obligations and married a simple girl from a simple family i kept quiet but he never understood his responsibilities he is sitting across seven seas in full comfort and has also forgotten that he even has a family in this country also he only has relation with his extended family after several attempts sunil could not make it to the medicals i satisfied with his phd but what he is doing now will also tarnish my image if not for my prestige and status at least thinking about babu ji and this family he should not do this babu ji was father and that's why he could make me accept his wish but i am only an elder brother my duties have a limit i can only request and not force anyone 
दिस स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम बड़े भैया मेड बोथ ऑफ अस वेरी सैड एंड फील पिटी फॉर हिम ऑनेस्टली ही हैड स्पेंड हिज एंटायर लाइफ फुलफिलिंग द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज फॉर द फैमिली टूडे देर इज नॉट अ सिंगल सर्जन लाइक हिम इन द एंटायर सिटी पीपल कम टू गेट ऑपरेटेड बाय हिम फ्रॉम फार ऑफ सिटीज क्यू गोज ऑन फॉर मंथ्स हिज गुड विल एंड वेल्थ आर फ्लोइंग इन द हाउस लाइक गंगा एंड यमुना बट वट एवर ही हैड अर्न he had spent everything on all of us he has his own small family but he is not able to do much for his family after suchitra's marriage he was able to send mukesh to cynthia school if he wanted then he could have also left all of us and could have lived happily like anil letting go of all the responsibilities after 3 days of rigorous fights and discussions sunil finally surrendered for the sake of his family's happiness status and peace he agreed to sacrifice his love he announced his decision like a martyr he also accepted that he is not able to face shamli after much discussion i had to do this task but i must admit that girl was very strong and she made my work much easier she straight away took me to her room for some time we were busy in discussing other stuffs but she understood my situation and she asked me didi you have come here to say something shamli actually the thing is please say it didi don't be hesitant i know what you will say and that's why i didn't took you to meet my mother she is not keeping well these days she may not be able to tolerate it then you know yes didi i know that i'm not supposed to dream but still i dare to do this Please tell me the truth and let me also experience how it feels to face the bitter reality. You are very intelligent, Shamli. I said by stroking her back. I continued, I want to acknowledge your courage. There is only one request. Please don't take Sunil in a wrong way. For the sake of Bade Bhaiya's happiness, he has sacrificed his love, and you know Bade Bhaiya is like a father for all of us. He has done so much for all of us. and to respect his wish is our duty i know didi but instead of you had sunil himself came here then this pain would have been much less it would have been much easier to face the situation i had nothing to say i quietly got up and started to move out at the door step i met dr kumar he was immensely happy on seeing me and insisted me to sit for some more time but i did not had the courage to face for him much longer Today when I see Dr Kumar I feel pity for him as he is also a father father of a daughter his situation is way more worse than anyone else on hearing Sunil's decision there was a wave of happiness in the entire family as if bade bhaiya was ready and without wasting any time he said to me i am thinking when both of you are here only then you can give a look to these proposals also they have been accumulated with me from a very long time Sunil was right. Bade bhaiya is becoming Babu ji. He does not want to waste even a single minute as he is not able to trust Sunil any more. The proposals which bhaiya had dazzled everyone's eyes. It was simply like goddess Lakshmi was knocking at the door. Only number had to be finalized. To final the number was a big task. Every proposal was better than the other. Then started the round of discussion in the family. day in and day out only this was the topic of discussion now at the dinner table there was happiness deepa was also actively participating in the discussion of selecting her new chachi pandit kaka also used to give free advice with every phulka bhabhi never participated in the discussion this was not new to us yes one more person was there who was not participating in the discussion it was sunil He used to sit in a corner and listen to our conversation like a martyr but we did not care for his silence after much hunting and searching we got stuck on one proposal the girl was beautiful and she was ma pass her father was an mla and her brother was an engineer in pwd she had two sisters and both of them were settled abroad with their doctor husband this proposal was fit in every aspect There was no way of picking out any flaw. The question is, is the girl really so beautiful? Sometimes photos can be misleading. So what? 
वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू कंसिडर फोटो एज द अल्टीमेट आंसर वी कैन मीट द गर्ल ऑल्सो आई सेड अरे दोज पीपल हैव इन्वाइटेड अस सो मैनी टाइम्स बोथ ऑफ यू कैन गो अलॉन्ग विथ सुनील एंड मीट द गर्ल इट्स मेयरली अ ड्राइव ऑफ फाइव आवर्स आई विल नॉट गो एनी वेयर ग्राउल्ड सुनील वाई विल यू नॉट मीट द गर्ल विल यू नॉट सी हाउ शी इज नो यू ऑल कैन गो एंड मीट हर वॉट हैज़ इट टू डू विद आवर चॉइस इट्स योर चॉइस दैट मैटर्स आई डोंट हैव एनी चॉइस दीदी एंड वॉट इफ वी ब्रिंग एनी हैंडी कैप गर्ल फॉर यू लाफ्ट सुचित्रा हाउ डज इट मैटर एनी मोर वेन द मैरिज इज टेकिंग प्लेस फॉर एवरी वंस हैप्पीनेस एंड कन्वीनियंस देन हाउ डज इट रियली मैटर ऑन शर्टिंग आर माउथ ही वॉज अबाउट टू लीव वेन अ स्टर्न वॉइस केम फ्रॉम बिहाइंड ही ऑल वर सरप्राइज इट वॉज भाभी लीव अपार्ट सर्वेंट्स शी हेज नेवर एड्रेस्ड हर किड्स इन दिस वे सुनील वॉज ट्रेमलिंग सुनील सिट डाउन and sunil sat down following the orders sunil yes bhabhi so you will not go to see the girl but what about your thoughts on getting married i i didn't understand what you were saying bhabhi will you go to your own marriage or like the ancient rajput tradition you will send your sword instead of your for the marriage always remember one thing sunil it is you who will go to marry the girl it is you whom the girl will follow and leave her house for you do hell with it by talking in this sufi manner will not make it easy for you to run away from your own responsibility but i don't have any responsibility now sunil was also in a fit of fury and he said bhabhi you also know everybody know that this marriage is against my will it is being imposed on me and i want other people should know about this as soon as possible Other people will also come to know about this as I am sure on your wedding night you will tell the girl that this marriage has been imposed on you you have sacrificed your love for the sake of happiness and well-being of your family but Sunil this does not make any sense that you go and marry a girl with all pomp and glory and then you express your helplessness like a martyr you have already left a girl to cry for her life and now you are getting ready to ruin some other girl's dream you don't have any right to do so have a heart sunil either climb the horse with full confidence else say no like a warrior and we didn't know when bhabhi left after saying all this we all were sitting numb and astonished after a long time we came back to our senses and we saw that bhaiya was sitting with his face covered with his palm dear friends This was the end of the story. Please stay tuned for more stories. Also do not forget to like, share and subscribe the channel.